boat for me in a bag of equipment. It's predominantly civilian clothing. Uh, I've got a, a sat phone, a rifle, which is a shotgun, an old shotgun, but it's better than nothing, and water. Um, I've got about two quarts of, uh, of water to keep me going. Something that I've uh, neglected to put in is uh, rations. I would expect to get there in two to three days. Um, it's going to be a bit of a, a trek, and uh, if I don't get any rations, it's going to be a hard one as well. No food, very little water, and the mission's just begun. With a team of expert hunters already closing in, Chris Ryan faces a real struggle to survive. The hunters tracking Chris Ryan have another lead. From the locals, they've learned about the boat that was left for him somewhere on the riverbank. It doesn't take long for them to find the place where Chris started his river journey. The depression in the reeds is the giveaway. Someone's been here. <laughs> Further downstream, Chris is as close to the hills as he's going to get by river, and he's still over 30 miles away. The rest he'll have to do on foot. He stashes the boat and finds a good hiding place to lay up for the night. The force isn't going to rest yet. They're determined to make more progress before they call it a night. Watch your face. Yeah. Watch your heads. Yes, it's a boat. Watch out for boobies. All right, right now we got tracks. Use the light. All right. Well, I don't see anything under the gas can, but I'm not. Leave it. If we're Leave gonna come it. back we'll tomorrow, yeah. give it with, when we have more light. Why even bother with it? As his pursuers debate their next move, Chris Ryan is holding his breath just a few feet away. There's his boot mark. Right now, what you got is it's dark up here. We've got definite track. We've got definite sign. But we know this guy can booby trap an area. It's probably exactly. not the best idea right, well, to let's, be. Let's, let's, let's say we back out and we don't quit the boat. We'll come back in yeah, the morning. Let's pull out. So this is obviously the, the means of coming across the river. We've got a baggage there next to a petrol can, which we're not going to play around with tonight for obvious reasons, because of booby traps. And our intentions are is pull out of here and get back in here at first light to, uh, to see what we've got and pick up trail and uh, off we go again.